how can we better consider neurodivergent children, young people, when we're thinking about including everybody in the whole school approach? That is a massive question, mm. and I think we could have a whole session on that. Um, my kind of professional and personal experience is that we need to take an experience-sensitive approach. We, we can't make assumptions about the autistic experience or um, you know children with ADHD. We have to really meet them where they're at and, and understand and, and try to connect and you know look at policy and practice and just re review kind of our idea of, of normal. That that is very kind of neurotypical. Um, and I think when it comes to policies around behaviour as well, thinking about how we conceptualise and understand behaviours, we often put sanctions in place which, um, you know, disproportionately impact upon neurodivergent young people. Um, yeah, I mean, I could talk about this all day. Um, I don't know if you've got any thoughts on, on that at all. Just, yeah, I, I agree with you. And I, I think for us, it will come back to centering those in, individual kind of young people's voices. I agree with you, we can't kind of um, listen to one voice and think that we've got it right for all neurodivergent young people, but again, championing the lived experience of those young people, listening to their voice, trying to think about how we can make adaptations within the service um, as part of our kind of anti-oppressive practice. Um, practitioners, they're, they're individual practitioners who are thinking about kind of neurodivergence, we think about how to adapt um, our, all of our kind of resources, our interventions, um, we kind of link in with various community and practice events to, to kind of hear other examples that are working well from other services and I think it's also, you know, it, it's about capturing data sometimes to make sure that that kind of data is flowing back up to people who are making the decisions about how services are, are kind of set up and what they look like to, to think about how we meet the need of those young people because they are disproportionately represented in kind of mental health services mm -hmm. and um, you know, often don't get their needs met. Yeah. Well, I was going to anything really. Um, yeah, <laughs> just because that's what I've talked about before. Um, human beings are unique and wonderful, aren't they? So, mm -hmm. but we have to have that individual and holistic response to, to work with them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I can say. Um, and there are, you know, you've talked about adapting practice, but there's adapting how society as a whole is, including. Mm -hmm. uh, the